Morning, what's going on? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Thursday morning. Fresh off the old school bus. Let me let them go by. So a few things going on. Number one, I didn't work out yesterday. That's the first time I've missed working out in probably two years. And I'm talking about I've been sick and bag problems and everything else and still worked out. People dying, hospitals and everything else still worked out. <laughs> it just, the day kind of got away from me and I still got my walk and my spin in, of course, but, and I knew I was probably going to be busy in the evening and I should have got my workout done a little earlier before all of it happened but I put it off and put it off and well by the time I got home it was like almost eight o'clock last night and I still had to eat I hadn't even ate or anything so I had to cook and eat I said I guess I'm missing today so I'm not going to beat myself up too bad about it. It's, you know, I think I got a pretty good track record. I should, uh, I should be okay. So, we looked at a couple homes yesterday. Actually, we looked at probably three or four homes yesterday. I don't remember. Four. We looked at four homes. Holy crap. One way out the area. That's a no-go. A couple others. Uh, all the other ones were close in town, which is what I like. And eventually, at the end of the day, the last one we looked at, we said, uh, let's go ahead and put a bid on this and uh, see how it goes. Bad news is, They're going to have to do a little fixing to a couple things. Because uh, when you got an FHA loan, everything has to be perfect. So they're going to have to be willing to do some work on a couple of things. And I think my only real problem with all this, well, not my only, but a big problem that I'm seeing now that we realize where our budget is, you know, and really what we're able to do is we're kind of taking, in, in this case, the house that we're looking at, we're just kind of taking a sidestep from where we're at. Like if we would have just got a loan and invested 100000 which sounds like a lot, and it is, but if we would have invested money into this house, our house that we have now could have been immaculate, beautiful, wonderful, everything we ever wanted. But, you know, we didn't really look into that option until maybe later on, way late, <laughs> like just here lately. So, I don't know. I mean, it's too late. We've already sold our house, so we only got about a month. We got to get out. So, then we, we went and looked at one house, new construction. Uh, I think it was built in 2019. It's one of those neighborhoods that's, and all the houses kind of look the same, and it's on this loop, and, you know, like something you'd see in a movie. Uh... Nice little house, but the neighbor had a dog, and the dog barked the entire time. And it's an aggressive dog, German Shepherd, and the next door lady, uh, one of the uh, people on the other side were like, you better watch that dog, he's come out of there before and attacked another dog and bit its leg off. And <laughs> so... You know, we told our realtor, who's a friend of ours, you know, that right there just cost you a sale, and you ought to look into 
you know, what you can get done about that. Because something like that can cost you a sale. Not only just the barking alone, but the aggressiveness. That's why I don't like dogs. That's why I'm not a dog person. Or else we, we probably would have went ahead and went for that house because new construction and I mean the neighbors and all that were super close but you know but it was still a nice little neighborhood and good part of town so you know it just kind of is what it is and housing uh, the house market is crazy <clears throat> It's crazy because our budget that we're in right now, that, you know, we're, that we're trying to stay in, you know, five years ago, ten years ago, could have nearly got you a mansion in our area. And now you're looking at homes basically like our home that we're already in. You know, half of them need fixed up, have some kind of issue normal everyday kind of homes so that's how crazy the housing market is so hopefully today we'll hear something back probably not but hopefully oh and we put a bid on one house a couple days back just a you know a few thousand just a few thousand less than what they were asking a normal amount plus you know like a three percent closing costs or something like that i can't remember and they came back with a higher number than what they even started out with <laughs> it's like didn't i think they went backwards they went up in price well they were just trying to cover their butts for closing costs you can't do that. Every deal you make, you're going to have to take a, you know, something. You got to take a little cut in the price. Uh, and or you got to do something, you know, help out with closing costs. That's just the nature of the business. So... So, I'm kind of, I'm not happy kind of with our decisions that we've made, but then again, I don't know. <laughs> it's like you always regret something, you know? It's hard to do things and not have something that you regret. Or so it seems like. You know, you regret, or we regret, getting this house in the first place that we're in. But, it's kind of, the money to get it was a gift. The down payment was a gift and they wanted us to be in that house so we kind of were forced into that kind of sort of not really but sort of I don't know just a bunch of crap that's why I think renting is better if you can find a good place to rent with good renters or with good whatever they are the owners whoever rents it whatever those people are called yeah landlords property owners yeah i mean if you're gonna have a house payment your entire life you might as well just rent it 
then you don't have any problems. Not everyone's cut out to own a home. Hello, Shadow. Hello, spider webs hanging from the tree. <sighs> so today, I'm going to try and make myself stay on schedule, get my workout done. I guess I'll stay on my normal schedule, and today will just be another deadlift day, because yesterday was supposed to be chest and legs again. So, I guess I'll have another deadlift day today. Good news is, if this deal goes through on this house that we're looking at, it's in a perfect area, small yard, but perfect area. It is on my bicycle route that I, uh, that was the main part of my bicycle route for five and a half years. Uh, matter of fact, my route, I called it Old Faithful because I did the route so many times. I had, I made up about probably five different routes that I would do uh, just periodically whichever route I wanted to take but I found myself doing mostly my old faithful most of the time and this place is right on that route I, mean, I guess technically speaking my house I'm in now is because where I started and stopped from <laughs> but I think you get the idea uh, and it's just down the road it's like uh, it's less than two miles away if we get that house literally less than two miles so and uh, it's not perfect like I said they done some flipping but you can tell it was kind of some quick flipping but overall if I, like I said, we're just kind of sidestepping, but if we had to compare, it does, it's in better visual shape, at least, than what our house is. You know, it's not the big, fancy, immaculate, beautiful home that, you know, we've looked at a couple of those, but just kind of fell through. So, it's just a modest little house, but it does have potential. And my youngest son, of course, is going in on the deal with us. And, and he's like, you know, I don't mind, you know, I don't mind doing some upgrades. You know, putting my money towards upgrades and doing some stuff. So, that's good. He's willing to, you know, put some money into the house and do that kind of stuff so we're looking at potential for some upgrades and stuff an addition etc so anyway guys just wanted to uh kind of touch base with everybody on uh, what's going on Kind of what's going through my brain also like i mentioned a time or two uh, you know during all this stuff you know during all this time my videos are going to probably take a little hit because uh, i'm going to be busy <clears throat> you know moving's not easy and not only that, I'm not getting any younger, so, you know, <sighs> lots of work. The older you get, the harder it gets. 
That's not what she said. Ow. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to hate to leave my beautiful little neighborhood. I even told, uh, I've told my neighbor just right back here. He does landscaping. I stopped and talked to him and I was like, you know, just talking to him for a second about maybe, you know, coming out and looking at this yard where we're looking at. And he's like, man, you're not going to be out here walking. Everybody, everybody in this neighborhood used to seeing me walk. And I've actually got a couple of people that started uh, walking. I think maybe I was a little influenced. I know I was to a couple of them because they told me. Which that feels good. That's doing my job. But yeah, we, uh, as far as this neighborhood goes and our property, I mean, it doesn't get any better, guys. Beautiful neighborhood, beautiful property. It's just the house was garbage. But like I said, I wish we would have just put 100000 invested with my son, 100000 into this. And uh, made a nice, immaculate, beautiful home. But it is what it is. <coughs> it's not our house anymore. <sighs> so anyway, guys, having said that, I'm tired of holding this dang phone. Phew. So hope you stick around. Hope you hang out with me through all this and we'll see where it goes like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me michael here discombobulated host discombobulated get up get out you rad do it to it we'll see you next time on the body beat down Bye, neighborhood. <laughs> I love you, man. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it! <laughs>